Welcome to Fusion Solar. This video will guide you through using smart design to create a residential standard design. To begin, open Google Chrome and search for Huawei Fusion Solar. Next, navigate to the official Huawei Smart PV website by clicking on it, and you'll be directed to the homepage. In the upper right corner, select Smart Design in the Professionals. Here you can see the entrance to Smart Design. Smart Design and Smart PVMS share the same account. You can log in to Smart Design using your registered installer account. Unregistered users can also easily register for an installer account here. The residential standard design consists of seven steps. Step 1. Enter the basic information, including the project name and address details. After entering this information, you will gain access to meteorological data from over 15,000 weather stations. The supported weather stations and power grid parameters in the area will be automatically displayed. If there is a feed-in power upper limit, enter it. Your input location will appear in the map area on the right. Step 2. Enter the energy consumption information. There are two types of consumption setting, generate model and data import. You can download the CSV template for data import, input hourly energy consumption data, and then upload the data. To use the generate model, you need to import annual energy consumption data. Monthly energy consumption is then calculated based on the model, and customization is also possible. Daily energy consumption includes workday and weekend models. Multiple templates are preset and can be customized. Once the configuration is complete, proceed to the next step. Step 3. The three-dimensional model center displays the buildings selected in the first step. On the left side of the screen, there are multiple drawing tool buttons. By clicking on the building button, you can manually draw the building outline. Click the obstacle button to draw either a cube or a dormer. Trees surrounding the building may affect the irradiation in some areas, so let's add a tree. Then, in the lower right corner, you'll find buttons for zooming and switching views. Clicking the two-dimensional, three-dimensional button allows you to switch to the three-dimensional mode. You can view the three-dimensional model of the current building. To adjust the height, drag a line or point. Additionally, you can view specific data in the upper right corner and manually modify this data, including the type of obstacles and the height and diameter of trees. After three-dimensional modeling generation, click next to step four, module layout. Click on roof, select the PV module manufacturer and model, and then click auto to automatically complete the design of the PV module layout for the current area. Additionally, in the lower left corner, there is a radiation pattern button that allows you to view the distribution of radiation. In areas affected by less irradiation, the brightness of the PV modules will be dimmed you can also make manual adjustments, simply click on a module and use the keyboard to delete it if necessary. Step 5. Electrical Design. By default, the target oversizing ratio is set to 120%. Determine whether the site requirements necessitate configuring the optimizer and energy storage system. Click on Auto Design. The system will then automatically complete the configuration of devices and the design of their connections. At this stage, the connections between the inverter, optimizer, and PV module can be observed. After the design phase is complete, proceed to the economic analysis. Set the currency unit, enter the initial installation cost, O&M, operations and maintenance, cost, and electricity price data. Then, click Next to generate the report. The standard design report is customizable. By clicking Export Report, you can download a local copy of the report. The report includes basic information, recommended devices, and an optimizer value section. In this section, you can click Edit, use the mouse wheel to zoom in on the image, and right-click and drag to position the image appropriately. The report demonstrates how the optimizer contributes to our security, provides a clear and intelligent online status of components, analyzes electricity bills, and offers a professional economic benefits analysis that illustrates the lifecycle cost, along with the energy management section that displays power generation and consumption data. Additionally, it presents the PV module layout, electrical wiring, and system loss diagram. Now, the standard design project has been completed. 
The platform also enables comparison of solutions involving different module layouts and electrical parameter configurations. To do this, copy the report that was just completed, while retaining the basic data. In the electrical design phase, deselect the optimizer. After redesign, a new report will be generated. This allows for the comparison between different solutions. Specifically, you can clearly observe the differences in energy yield with and without the optimizer. Additionally, in the economic analysis section, the variations in NPV, net present value, IRR, internal rate of return, and payback period are highlighted. Comparing the benefits of multiple solutions helps ensure the selection of the optimal solution. The tutorial on residential standard design is now concluded. Thank you.